to give us a peek back in time to see how some volcanoes were created millions of years ago. And to do that, curious scientists are blowing it all to smithereens. I know it's going to be cool. Anything that happens, we're going to learn something. It's led by Greg Valentine. For a quarter century, he's been studying volcanoes. Today, he'll finally get a chance to replicate how they were formed. I'm excited. This is really cool. In geology, we always just say, see the end result. We never see the intermediate stuff. Where do you want the next one? The series of experiments that we're doing here really is a first time for anyone. Volcanoes are one of the most terrifying displays of the Earth's awesome power, dangerous and unpredictable. You know about their explosive fury. But did you know that this idyllic lake is also a volcano? It's called a Mar volcano. Most of us think of volcanoes as mountains, but these are actually just big, uh, explosions that make holes in the ground, big craters. They're formed when magma over a thousand degrees pushes its way up through the ground and hits water. The water turns to vapor so fast it causes a big explosion, leaving a crater that can be eight kilometers across. We can understand the dynamics of these explosions and how they operate as a function of the way the energy is released, uh, then we can um, predict hazards much better and try to save lives that way. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this. This is stronger material than what we did in our... Plan sounds simple. They've carefully created layers of dirt. Now they're digging holes in the middle and stuffing them with explosives. By studying everything from the shape of the crater to the type of electrostatic waves, their knowledge of Mar volcanoes will explode. We've been planning on this for a couple of years now and it's finally going to happen, so it's great. Fire Woo! First blast goes off. Now the team wants to find out if the size and shape of the crater are the same as they predicted. They also want to study the blast itself. This slow motion video helps them analyze the explosion. But it looks exactly the, the size that we expected. Even these simple garbage bags are instrumental. They tell the researchers how far Earth is blasted in an eruption. We want to know which particles got ejected, and since the uh, top layer is different from the bottom layers, we can tell which fraction from each layer. Now for round two. They're trying a different type of explosion. In nature, if there's more magma and more water, then there may be multiple explosions in the same place. <laughs> This creates a different looking crater, but scientists don't know how much different. When we look at a volcano, when we see a crater, we want to try to tease out information about the explosive energies that were involved. And in order to do that, we need to understand those effects of multiple explosions versus a single explosion. Three smaller explosions are detonated in exactly the same place. Oh yeah! It's great. It's awesome. Quadrocopter has cameras to make a 3D image of the crater. But it's temperamental during its inaugural flight. So instead, the team uses cameras mounted on a computer cart. You pick a feature in the left camera and match it up with the right camera, you form a triangle, ergo you have a depth, you have a 3D point. Volcano experts around the world will be able to download and analyze it. But even Perpendicular just from first that, glance, this experiment is surprising the scientists. We're learning a lot from this already. The smaller explosions made a crater about the same size as the single big explosion. It means that you cannot use the diameter of the crater to estimate what the largest explosion energy was. So this is an important result in terms of being able to, to predict those sorts of processes. In some Mar volcanoes, the magma hits the water and creates a blast. Then the water seeps downwards, hits more magma, and creates more explosions deeper down. This one will do an explosion, and then we'll go deeper. The next explosion will be deeper, and the third one will be even deeper. What we got is really an important result. I would have expected that the end result would be a smaller crater than what we got. It's going to be extremely important for understanding volcanic hazards. They want to dig deeper into their results. We're really interested in the structures that form beneath the craters. Mostly the explosions happen underground and they have um, 
extreme effects on the rocks underground and break things up and mix things up. Plus Hidden in these grains of sand lie the clues to decode a precious treasure map. Because Mar volcanoes often release these precious diamonds. They're formed hundreds of kilometers underground and can get blown upwards with the magma. The structures that they find diamonds in are very similar to what we're trying to reproduce here. So what we want to try to do is just understand more about how those structures form and, and relate that to, to finding diamonds. It'll also make our world just a wee bit safer. We want to be able to understand uh, how much energy was released and then that we can use to save people's lives to live around volcanoes, for example.